Another point that was brought up was a house. Apparently, and I know it's true because I've seen the video, Mo turned around and said that he'd been befriended by a, a couple of people, a man and a woman. I know nothing of their age. I don't know if they're young cubs or whether they're elderly people. But they turned round and said that they had offered him free digs in this big five-bedroom house. And he could stay there for as long as he wanted in this five-bedroom house. Very generous. Rent-free. Quite nice. And that upon their death, the house would become his. So basically, two people have said to Mo, come and live with us. Have run of the house, you'll have your own room. It will cost you absolutely nothing. Stay as long as you like. When we die, you can keep the house. Well, I started thinking about this and I thought, well, if that is true, and I know it's true because Mo said it was true in a video. So he believes it to be true. But the question I ask is, why isn't he living there now? You know, he runs around saying that he's got no money and that he's living hand to mouth and that he can't travel to the marches because he hasn't got the travel expenses. But maybe he would have extra cash flow if he was living somewhere rent free, as offered by this couple. Now Mo's not alone. Lots of people can't travel to the marches. There's some of the marches I can't go to because I haven't got the funds. Or I've got the funds, but I need the funds for something else. So that's just the way life is. You can't go on everything all the time. As long as you go on some of them and you support them, that's the main thing. That's what matters. So then I was thinking a bit more deep into it. And I thought, could it be that Mo Fires is actually a fraudster? And that he owns this five-bedroom house and he's leased it out to this imaginary couple. And that the only way he can gain the house back without people saying, Wow, Mo, you lied to us. Is to say this lovely couple, they passed away unexpectedly and they've left me this five-bedroom house. That's probably just me being suspicious. But then I am suspicious. Anyway, I've researched it further. I can't find any evidence for or against, so I have to take Mo on face value for what he says. Although, it seems a bit iffy.